Hello, welcome to my channel. Renzo here. Today I'm gonna draw a portrait with pastels. I just bought this Car Carbothello 24 chalk pastels coloring pencils, and I'm going to try them. Let's see. Here, here are the colors. Let me show you. Okay, looks beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna try this. It's kind of a, okay, what color is this? I mean, it doesn't say it doesn't say the color, but it's just a number. One forty-five. Okay, I'm gonna start drawing. I'm gonna make a sketch here. Let's see, let's place the whole head here. Okay. Mm, I think that's okay. Let me see. Okay, uh, the eyes around here, brows, eyes, nose, mouth. Okay, eyes, nose, mouth, the head, the chin. Okay, I have to move the, these eyes a little bit down. Here. Okay. I'm gonna start just adding lights with this color. Okay, I'm gonna pick up this color is gonna be for the lights. And I have here these two. This is kind of two brown colors. This is kind of a burnt sienna and this is kind of a burnt amber. Okay. I'm gonna use this one. Hello Dita, hello Jani, Jai, Jai Nendra, hello Ainadur. Okay, let's see. I'm squinting down my eyes. I see all the light area and the shadow. Let me. I'm measuring. I mean, usually kids have a huge head. Uh, in an adult, usually uh, from the top of the head to the bottom of the chin. If we look for the middle from here to here, we're gonna find the eyes. In kids, it's different. That means that if if from here for here, the middle is gonna be here. For a kid, it should be here. Okay. I'm not planning to finish this portrait today. Uh, that's the first time that I'm trying this Carvotello Pasteros. I'm going really soft. I'm planning to finish this in two sessions.
Okay. Let's say here's gonna be one eye. The other eye here. The nose. The mouth. And the chin. Compare with the photo, I think it's okay. Mm. I'm measuring from the brows, let's say from here, to the bottom of the nose to the bottom of the chin. It's gonna be here. I have the shadow here. The cheek here. Paper is really soft. Looks like I erased a lot. Seems like I didn't do anything. Okay, again with the light. Let me see. I'm squinting down my eyes. I see a light here. Okay, light here. Uh, it's kind of mm, highlights. I mean, it's not like uh, the lightest highlights, but you see clearly here. Light, light, and light. Now here in the nose, let's see the shape here of this. Squinting down my eyes, I'm trying to see the shape of the light and the shape of this light. Are we checking out the relationship from this light to this, to this, and to this? You see? Okay. I heard that these Carvotello pastel pencils are really good. I've been watching some videos from some painters that really, I mean, master these pastels. In my case, you know, I'm, I'm mostly painting with oils, oil paint. I usually, I usually use oil paints, sometimes acrylics. I used to draw and paint with pastel pencils long time ago more maybe than 20 years ago I have done some drawings in my channel okay um, I gotta say painting yes because drawing is just when you 
we, we don't use color, but as soon as we use color, we have to call uh, painting. Let's say that I have, I have made, made some, sounds weird, eh? When I say drawings, I have made some drawings with pastels in my channel, just a few of them with uh, big pastels from Faber Castell. I'm pressuring a little bit more, but it's nothing, I mean, I'm really soft with this, really, really soft, almost on the air. Let's add more colors. I have here something that looks like a, a camion red. like a burnt umber. Okay, let me see. I'm just squinting down my eyes, trying to see the distance from here to the nose to the mouth. I mean, I do the same with the image. I don't see the, I mean, I squint. I squint down my eyes to see the drawing and I do the same with the image, with the photograph. Okay. dark shape here okay. I think the distance from the nose to the mouth is not okay I gotta move the nostril a little bit down Hello Egypt, hello Jaime, hello Dita. I don't know what to tell you Egypt, Egypt about acrylic painting. I, I usually I use paint, acrylic, uh, just the paint and water, just that. Uh, okay, Dita is telling, uh, she's, she has written, I think, uh, about the product that uh, could help you to slow down the dry time the dry time uh, the only thing that I could tell you is that you gotta go faster with you mix I mean you, you need to have more experience mixing colors when you paint with acrylics because you don't have too much time I mean the acrylics, uh, it's kind of, they don't dry, I mean, really, really fast. But since usually people start painting with acrylics, I mean, and then uh, and sometimes when somebody starts to paint, uh, we need more time to, for mixing colors. And acrylics, I mean, it's not precisely uh, 
the best material for a beginner because I mean this dry dry fast it doesn't you wanna get into painting I mean speaking about any medium you wanna get into painting like learn to paint with acrylic or with oil whatever it is and you're thinking uh, about uh, what is gonna be the first material like the first step for me that would be oil okay you take your time you practice with oil paints you mixed and then when you, you're okay by mixing colors then you move to acrylic if you're gonna end up I mean working with acrylics what usually is is, uh, is usually if people start start with acrylics and then move to oil paint but if you do that if you want to start with acrylics and and it's, uh, that means that you you're gonna have the problems all the problem that is uh, always about the dry time because you're gonna need more time to let it dry uh, to mix colors it's just about the mixing colors you know because for practicing we need to go slow really slow and what is the, the slower material oil oil paints dry is really slow maybe it doesn't sound logic for anyone but for me it sounds really logic it's just like uh, for me it's just I don't think about oil paints like oil paints or acrylics. I just think I'm gonna go with uh, the material, the material that dry, dry really slow, and that and it's gonna give me more time to practice the mixing. And guess what? That's oil paints. Oh, hello, Halo. Oh, nice. Hello from Bosnia. Oh. How long does it take for uh, oil to dry? A couple of days. But for you to work when you're mixing, you have like at least, I think, four or five, maybe, maybe the whole day, maybe eight hours. And you can paint, you can mix, may mix again and again. They're gonna stop working and uh, go out and come back after two hours and continue working. beginner is that's what you need
Okay, something is not okay here. I like this color. You buy this, this is a number 655. Okay, and this is a number 105. Okay, when you put this first, you put this on top of this one to get a really nice skin color.
I'm being really careful sharpening this pencil. I just realized that this uh, Corbotello brand is, you know, they have this uh, pit pastel. Uh, this is softer than this one. Not a lot, but I mean, just enough to just to have problems when you sharpen the, the pencil. Okay, again, I'm going to apply this number 655. Let's think about this uh, as a layer of paint. I apply this first. Don't pressure too much. And then on top of that, apply this one. Don't pressure too much, okay? So you see, this is different. Uh, if I do this, uh, I don't want to make this here, but let's say if I do something like this, this is pressure more. I'm doing something like this, okay? Which is really different. I think my camera is not in focus. Ooh. Give me a second. You know with pastels, uh, that's the way uh, we mix this. If you want a uh, light blue, what you do is you add blue, and you add white on top of that. And then you have light blue. Okay, for the skin color, I mean, from this this set of 24 colors, this is the color from the skin color. Okay, use this one to not gonna have any problem. Of course, uh, we need to add more colors, a little bit of green, a little bit of blue. But mostly it's gonna be about this color. That's really good because uh, I used to have a color like this, but a long time ago when I, I used to use these bar bars, small sticks. Now I know for sure that this is the color that I use the most. And we gotta be thinking, I mean this, I'm speaking about this like a, a base color. You know that we have to think about temperature. That means that if we think about adding more warm to the lights, maybe this yellow is, is gonna be a good idea. Uh, we'll, we will do something like this, really transparent layer to warm, warm up this area okay it does 
what we want. Maybe we want just a grayish or cool uh, lights or highlights. You can add just pure white. You know, pure white is gonna uh, knock down any color. And if you add, let's say, a light blue, I have this kind of cerulean blue. You can have a cool highlight. Okay. I don't want this. I mean, not yet, not so sure yet. I'm gonna cover this again. You know, I'm showing you uh, because, like I said before, this is the first time I'm using this pastel pencil, this, this brand, Carvotello. I just have heard that this is really good. I have seen a guy in YouTube. He's really, really good. Uh, his name is, I think, is Alan Picard. I used to see uh, his videos because he speaks about material, about a lot of materials, about papers, about all of that. Yeah, because he's really good. He said that Carbo Taylor was good. And I ran out. I just ran to the store and bought this set, Carbo Taylor. <laughs> yes, I mean, that's the, 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 see, that's the brand that I can afford. Because obviously uh, there is so many brands, there is uh, really expensive ones. I'm not gonna buy the expensive one. This set it cost me like sixty dollars, which is really good. Anyway, you wanna buy this? I put the link in the description box to Amazon. You know, you buy using my links. You're kind of supporting my channel because I get the commission. because I mean uh, these two are too intense I don't need that intensity I'm gonna use the grayer the grayer one this one I stopped uh, using pastels ab about, uh, I don't remember when, but I started 
Uh, but I studied Jus Pastel when I was a student in the School of Art. When I was in my 20s, starting to make a lot of commissions. Yeah, I don't know for what reason uh, everything stopped. I don't, I, don't, I don't even remember when. And I didn't do it. Uh, I didn't do any more commissions. Everything just stopped. Okay, you see mostly these two three colors for the skin. You see this one is like is this one, and when you add this one on top of this, you get a really beautiful skin color. And cross hatching, okay. soft and not pressuring that much okay and this one is for the shadows okay let me see the drawing is no it's not okay it's not okay yet so bad, looks so horrible that but that's okay, that's the process. Okay. This one on top of, the, of this brown. Okay. I'm gonna use the screen. This is a number five seven five. Don't feel like uh, you're gonna ruin. Uh, look at this. If I go with uh, too much green, let's say more and more green. Okay, you add the other color again, and both are gonna get mixed. Okay. Maybe you will have a problem. Maybe that the color is not okay, but you. The only solution is add more color, add more color on top of this, and then eventually you're gonna fix it. Okay.
So I'm trying to move uh, the lights and the contrast in the camera. Okay, I think that's close to what I have here. Another thing about pastels are uh, you're not gonna get to you're not gonna finish a pastel and uh, I mean we need so many layers to finish a pastel. I mean it's no like this is not okay. At least let's say one, two let's say this is the second layer. This is the third one. Now when you start to see like uh, the the tooth of the paper, you don't see the tooth of the paper anymore. That means that that's okay. It's like when you paint with oils, with oil paints, and you add just a thin layer, and you can see kind of the, the, the canvas, you see the tooth, that means that you don't have enough paint. That's the same with this. Okay, we need more uh, pastel, we need more, more, more of this uh, chalk on the paper. Okay, that means that you're gonna prepare yourself for uh, go over the drawing again and again, again and again. See here I still see the tooth of the paper and I'm putting more pastel and again on top of this now it's better. Thank you. 
Be careful if you use a brush. You see what happens, kind of pick up uh, the pastera. Okay, okay, let's see. Brow, nose, nostril, mouth. Okay, and chain. Again, with this color on top of this. Okay. Again with the dark. Thank you, C. Bacon. Thank you, Bilal uh, Al Razan. Okay. Egypt, how many commissions do you do in a month? Okay. Uh, in a month. I mean, all the months are not the same, but let's say, let's say that it could be maybe between two or five 
ねえー、っとあ Sometimes、um, okay, I mean, every month, let's say, like,、uh, I how can I say, reject or I don't make like five or six commissions because the images,、uh, the photo reference is not okay, sometimes it's too blurry or too old. And I have painted a lot of portraits, and I have had a lot of problems sometimes. Because the client sometimes thinks he doesn't like the portrait. Yes, and sometimes a client thinks, thinks that we are gonna fix or the painting. and I used to tell when a client, uh, I mean, so that changed. You know, sometimes I don't, got any, I don't get any commissions, let's say, for a month. And then if somebody asks me for a portrait, I mean, if I, I, I didn't get any income in a month, obviously I'm going to say yes, okay. And if the photo is not okay, I try to tell, okay, I cannot guarantee you that the portrait is going to be okay because the photography is not okay, it's kind of blurry, I don't see. I cannot invent, I need to see what I'm going to paint. I mean, this is not cre creative, imaginative, Im Im imaginative or surrealism or something like that, it's a portrait. And people used to say, okay, okay, okay. And then when you finish the painting, they say, okay, I don't like it. It doesn't look like the person. I don't know. And it's kind of half of the time is the same. This. And when I got an image that is really good, that doesn't happen. Usually the people are so happy. Oh, the painting is so, am the painting is so amazing. Really good. I get paid, and that's it. Yeah, but I gotta say that it's not like that always. And I have some friends that they, some of my friends paint portraits too. And we all experience the same problems. Yeah. It's been like a couple of time the times that one of my friends called me asking me for help to finish a portrait because、uh, sometimes just happens that it's kind of impossible to continue. I mean, for him, I remember that time it was like, oh man, I cannot do anything more.、It's, you gotta help me because I'm just stuck here. The client doesn't look,、uh, doesn't like the portrait. And he was kind of sick. <laughs> I remember that,、uh, that occasion I went to his atelier, his studio. We analyzed the painting and I did some retouches.、Uh, like, I, I remember I spent that day, like,、uh, like the whole day, like six hours. Yeah. And then at the end,、uh, he, he was able to.、Uh, I mean, at the end, the client was okay with the painting. was okay, the painting is okay. It's not, I mean, exactly what I wanted, but let's say it's better, and that's it. He he g e t paid, and he paid me a, a, little, a little money. Sometimes that usually happens.、Yeah. <laughs>
Okay, I'm gonna use this color again. I'm gonna go really soft here. Really soft. And on top of this, I'm gonna add this color. Really soft. close to the image, yeah? the color is really close But you know when you're a student of art, it's like uh, no one as a student wants to have a dream like a, oh I'm gonna I'm gonna be a portrait painter. <laughs> Nobody wants that. Everybody knows that it's kind of difficult, boring, and just spend a lot of time. And sometimes uh, the client just doesn't like the painting and doesn't pay you that's a problem yeah there are some painters that they ask uh, let's say like 20% or maybe more 40% in advance and they uh, got an agreement it's like uh, something if there's a problem with the painting I mean they're they're not gonna get the money back the first the 20% or 30% But at the same time, there are so many funny stories around, around portraits. I remember sometimes, uh, one day, one time I paint a couple, ha husband and wife. Uh, the guy, I mean, she was uh, white and he was kind of, uh, not dark skin, but like my skin, kind of brown. And I, I didn't see him before painting the portrait. And I painted both of them white. I mean, he was really white, really light skin. Yes. And then when I get, I went to uh, to the client with the painting. She was like, "Oh, well, that's my husband, but that's not the skin color." I mean, and he was like uh, just staring at the painting, just there. He didn't say anything. And she was, "No, no, 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 no." Okay, you gotta change uh, the painting, you gotta change the colors. Well, it's my husband's skin color. And he was like, uh, he didn't say anything. <laughs> and after a few minutes, he was like, oh no, leave it just like that. like that." And she was, what? I mean, no, no, there's no way, no, no, no. And he was, okay, who's gonna pay for this? You wanna pay for this or I'm gonna pay for it? Okay, and... Uh, <laughs> Yes, he wanted, yeah, he wanted that, and that was so funny, and I left the painting like that. Yeah. And another time I remember I paint uh, a woman, like, she was in her 50s, maybe. And she told me, okay, paint, paint me a little bit younger. Just a little bit younger, okay? And I said, okay. And I painted her when I <laughs> see that painting, she looked like she was in his uh, 15s. She, she looked like a teenager. And she was like, a, uh, I remember I... I <laughs> 
Uh, but remember that day I went to uh, their, uh, her, ho her house and she wasn't there at the moment. Uh, and th there she was, her mom. And her mom was, oh, Ray, oh, how are you? Oh, you're about to die. Oh, my God, that beautiful painting. I mean, yes. Oh, wow. I mean, who's that? And I said, oh, my God, who's that? And I told myself, oh, that's your daughter. I mean, yeah, I didn't say anything. I mean, who's that? I mean, I said, oh, mm. Okay, that's a surprise for somebody. Oh, nice painting. And I say, okay, this is so wrong. This is so wrong. I mean, she didn't recognize her own daughter. Yes, and, and then she came uh, here with a friend. And they uh, stopped at the painting. And they, they didn't say anything. They were just staring at the painting. And then her friend, she said, Oh my God, that's you. I remember you. When you were a teenager, when you have like 16 years old. I remember you. That's you. That's you. And she was, yes, that's me. <laughs> but to be honest, I mean, I exaggerated, exaggerated too much. I mean, uh, with this thing to, uh, that she told me, okay, paint me a little bit younger. I just, I mean, that, that was that, uh, the portrait was it uh, wasn't that good, and then and then the, her mom just came out and said because uh, she heard yes I mean they say oh my God that's me oh my God that's me. and then her mom was like what happened that's I mean, mom look at the portrait that's me when I was a teenager and her mom said what what that's not you <laughs> and she was like, shut up mom you don't know anything that's me when I was a teenager. Okay, Renzo, they paid me and I get out of the house running. What time is it? Okay, that's okay. I still have a half hour. And I remember once uh, uh, that's well, just, that happened just once time. Once I remember somebody told me it was to my went to my studio and uh, he hired me to do a portrait. Okay, I did a portrait and he came back to my studio and he was like, "Oh my God! I mean, I think this is really pretty good, but you need to fix here a little bit here." Okay. How long is gonna take you? Maybe a week. Okay. And then I didn't do anything. Yes. Sometimes I got bored. I don't paint like I should. And then this this guy just came by my studio. And then I was about to tell him, okay. Oh man, I didn't do anything. So sorry. And he 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 didn't just. I didn't have the time. He was just like, oh my God, that's perfect. You fix it. Yeah, that's perfect. When I said, yeah, I fix it. I didn't do anything to the portrait. But that time, you know, the advantage that we, we didn't have a camera. That was before these smartphones. And I mean, he was just relying on what he remembered about the portrait. Yes, and that's it. I mean, he just he just paid me, and uh, that was. Yeah. yeah.
And now about the prices. The prices is something really. Uh, I don't know. I always feel that you're kind of cheap with the prices. And sometimes uh, I remember once one guy uh, uh, was a woman told me, okay, one uh, she wanted me to paint uh, her daughter. Yes, and she told me, okay, how much do you charge charge me for? The portrait, and I was thinking about uh, six six hundred dollars, something like that, because it was kind of a big painting. I'm speaking about maybe more than ten years ago. Yeah? And I said, okay, and I said something like, okay, you bought me a couple of paintings before, and I don't want to just okay. You tell me how much do you want to paint me, and that's gonna be okay for me. Yeah. And she told me, okay, I'm gonna pay you two thousand dollars. And I said, Whoa <laughs> Okay. That's okay for you. I was thinking, oh my god, that's I was thinking about five six hundred dollars. Yeah. And it was just because she thought that painting a portrait was expensive. Because she paid me for another painting that wasn't portrait. Like five hundred dollars, six hundred dollars. Yeah. And she thought, okay, a portrait is something special, it's different. Okay, and I remember, okay, next time I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say any price to anyone. <laughs> I'm gonna say, what do you wanna pay me? I think I got the proportions. Okay, I think I have everything. Okay, yes. I think I'm really, I'm really close with the proportions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So many stories about painting portraits. The cheapest portrait that I have painted uh, <laughs> was my neighbor's. I remember I told one of my neighbors, I mean, uh, he, he asked me, okay, how much do you charge me for a portrait at this size? And, and I was thinking, okay, if I tell this guy, like, $400, $300, uh, okay, I'm gonna tell him $100, $150, okay? Which is really cheap. And I told him, I said, What? Are you crazy? I mean, that's too much money. Are you kidding? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what can I say? I have to say, Okay, okay, no problem, yes. I'm gonna go down with the price. Who cares? I mean, Sometimes I got some messages 
in my messenger account in Facebook. I got a message uh, a week ago, I think. Somebody asked me uh, to see her painting. And she said something like, oh my God, I'm so stressed about this portrait. They've been working for so long. The client doesn't like the painting. I don't know how to fix it. Please help me to fix it. Well, that's a really difficult question to answer. I mean, what can I do? Like, kind of, I don't know. I mean, point out mistakes. I don't think that's gonna help her. Uh, it's gonna help her with uh, fixing the portrait. I mean, I don't know. So difficult. What would you do in that case? I mean, I haven't answered that the message yet. It's been like a Maybe more than a week. Because I not I don't know how to help this person. And I mean helping help that person it means maybe I mean that's that we're not gonna get she's not gonna get a solution in just for for me writing her uh, I don't know what, I mean it's about um, I don't know, I don't know anything what to say, I don't... Using this color as a base for the skin color, really soft without too much pressure. You can add a layer of this color all over the skin. Okay, and then go with this one on top of for the lights. Okay, don't pressure that much. Going faster is, I mean, it's different that pressure more. I can go faster and I can go, I can go, I, I can do this. You see, faster, 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 but I don't making marks. And that's what I'm doing here. Now I want this lighter, then I press more. comments hello Michael uh, you have painted a 65 year old look about 50 
She was hurt. <laughs> yes, that's. <laughs> yeah. Oh, exactly did that. A portrait commission is difficult because you don't see yourself as the painter sees you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Dita, yeah, that happened to me too. I mean, when you paint from different pictures and all of them have different time, different lifetime, I mean, it was taking different years. It's kind of a mess in the painting. Hello, Mary. Mary is asking me, uh, are we getting better just by watching? you so much yes you get better by watching me you gotta watch me daily <laughs> yeah. oh did is telling me you, you are not professional you can say that I, you can give some tips but it's, it cost you yes and that would be uh yeah. Well, obviously that would that would be the, the best way to to help somebody. Uh, the idea of, of helping with portrait is get into the process of uh, fixing so many things. Okay, if you see a problem in a structure, that means that it's necessary to practice that. In practice, it means time. Spend time doing that. That's not gonna get fixed just with one lesson. And color is the same. If the problem is in color, okay, I mean, it's gonna be about practice about the colors, color harmony, and which is different uh, about mixing colors. Mixing colors is the first step, okay, that, I mean, that's like uh, the alphabet. The important thing is about harmony, is about making the colors work together. And when you don't see that, uh, usually uh, you want not notice if, you, if a painting is too orangey or the colors are too maybe milky. Okay, that's a problem of harmony. Not a problem of mixing colors. I mean, if somebody doesn't know how to mix colors, how can uh, how you go to the next step? That's gonna be harmony. First is mixing colors. Next is harmony. Now I'm trying to say that you can have uh, like a, my my one of my teachers used to tell tell me. Used to, uh, used to tell me, uh, uh, like, when I got a painting that has milky colors, he, he once told me, okay, uh, there's no milky colors here. What is happening, your colors are kind of in their, is there, I, they are in the wrong position. This color here, it, it shouldn't be here. It should be here, let's say. And this color here should be here. And for me, it was a mess. Well, what, I mean, you're speaking about moving the colors? No, no, it's, it's not about moving, it's for you to understand that uh, it's, it's, it's the color, it's the value, the value that means your shadow is not dark enough, okay, your lights are not light, light enough, and if your shadow is it's not dark enough, and your mixture has maybe too much white, then you have a kind of milky color, an opaque Maybe call in the shadows. Okay. When he told me that means my little fella that you need to go back to draw black and white images because this is a problem of value and you know the value and color are together. There's no way to separate them. Okay. And at the same time, okay, uh, this was, I have a, a problem with mixing the colors, 
I have a problem with the position of the colors. Yeah. And I didn't if uh, I didn't know that. And if I don't know that, at the next step, that's gonna be make make a color warmer or cooler. If you don't know how to mix colors, if you don't know the value, the right value, I mean how dark, how light is a color. The next step about temperature, that's going to be a problem. Okay. And that's the advice that I, I got from my teacher. In other words, he told me to practice more black and white drawings, just drawings. Okay, and when he told me about drawings, it's not about pick up a, a white uh, piece of paper and pick up my charcoal drawing. No, I mean that's just one step when you draw. Okay. You don't get better just by doing that. You gotta pick up, uh, you gotta draw on white paper, you gotta draw on black paper, and on gray paper. When you master this thing about drawing in gray paper with white, a uh, white pencil and, and a black pencil, then you're getting close to painting because you're working lights and shadows. When you work just on white paper, you're just working the shadows. You're just watching the shadows. When you work on black paper, you're watching what? Lights. And you work, when you draw on gray paper, you are just uh, watching both lights and shadows. And that's the closest thing to painting. Because when we paint, we just don't add lights or just shadows, we, do, we add both dark, mid-tones and lights which is different when we paint the watercolor when we paint the watercolor we don't add white what's the white? it's the white, it's just the paper yeah. and that's, that's, that's a problem yeah?
Okay, where is my okay? I'm gonna use this just to get try to get the buster into the top of the paper. I'm going to choose charcoal for to draw the eye.
try let's try this color. This is the number three one one. It doesn't have like a color name. A color name I mean like camel red or something like that. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Maybe I have to reduce here. Or just it's about this shadow. Mm, I have this, I have to make this darker, darker here, and reduce here. Not so sure about that. I'm stepping back, trying to check out. comments thank you games tita take care good night okay appropriate okay thank you Lou Giza <laughs> thank you Mir hello Carlton do you think that the hairline needs to come forward and the jawline also needs to be angled upward? Oh yes, yes. I was I was speaking about that. Yes, yeah, I think I need to fix uh, those areas. I need to work on this or areas a little bit more. Bye, Dita. Good night. Okay. If you like my my channel, if you're new to my channel. Uh, I, I make live streams like uh, three times a week, sometimes daily, sometimes not always, but I try to go live at, at least twice a week. Mostly about portraits with acrylics, with oil paints, mostly with oil paints, and some, some with uh, pastels. Sometimes I paint still lives too. Okay, I have a Patreon account where uh, I can paint. I mean, you any, anyone join my Patreon account, we're gonna paint together. Okay, uh, usually we paint Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. The there is a tier that is four dollars. We paint Sundays, uh, morning for me, Sunday morning for me, uh, for an hour, an hour and a half sometimes, we are painting a still life. Then we paint Wednesdays, 
at 6 p.m. to 7.30. Mostly we paint, uh, we make exercises about the portraits. We paint eyes, nose, the eye, the nose, the mouth. Uh, okay, just like fragments. And Sundays, that's a $100 tier. We paint every Sunday for four hours. And we try to paint a portrait. I start and finish a portrait every Sunday. Okay, I mean, usually uh, I paint and you can follow me. I paint, I pause, you paint, and we're working like that. I'm gonna leave my Patreon account here in the comments in case anyone is interested. going to add a little bit of orange to the lights it okay I'm gonna leave it there 
I'm going to continue tomorrow or maybe Friday. Okay. This is the first. Oh my god, I think I I, I just step back a lot. Now I see this huge head here. I think I have to reduce this. Pasato. Sí. Okay, sorry guys, that's my son. Okay, I, I, I'm gonna make this a little bit darker because I have to fix something here. And right now I'm just gonna leave it kind of lost. Have time to come back here and fix this okay something else I can I can make before I go okay that's it when to come back I'm gonna uh, try to I'm gonna measure here and there to fix the drawing I think I got the proportions between the eyes the mouth and uh, the chin okay it just is this I think it should be more angled yeah like uh, it's, it's like moving the the mouth here a little bit up it yeah. thank you see you next time thank you for being here watching my video take care all of you Bye, take care.
just that no more. Okay, bye.